The Companies Act 1862, 25 and 26 Vict. C.89 was an act of the Parliament of the United Kingdom regulating UK company law, whose descendant is the Companies Act 2006. Topic provisions S6 Any seven or more persons associated for any lawful purpose may, by subscribing their names to a memorandum of association, and otherwise complying with the requisitions of this Act in respect of registration, form an incorporated company, with or without limited liability, S8 where a company is formed on the principle of having the liability of its members limited to the amount unpaid on their shares, here and after referred to as a company limited by shares, the memorandum of association shall contain the following things the third of which was objects for which the proposed company is to be established, S11 the memorandum of association, shall, when registered, bind the company and the members thereof to the same extent as if each member had subscribed his name and affixed his seal thereto, and there were in the memorandum contained, on the part of himself his heirs, executors and administrators, a covenant to observe all the conditions of such memorandum, subject to the provisions of this Act, S12 stating the memorandum could be altered by special resolution, if the memorandum allowed that itself, S18 dealt with the effect of incorporation, S48 S153 under section 167 of the Companies Act 1862, 25 and 26 Vict C89 One of the functions of a liquidator was to bring criminal proceedings against directors and others who were alleged to have committed offences in relation to the company. Topic cases decided under the 1862 Act in Re Wiltshire Iron Co. 1868 LR3 CH App 443 Guinness v Land Corporation of Ireland 1882 22 CH 349 Salomon v A Salomon and Co Limited 1897 AC 22 Ashbury Railway Carriage and Iron Co Limited v Reich 1875 LR 7 HL 653 In popular culture In the song, "'Some Seven Men Form an Association' in Gilbert and Sullivan's Utopia, Limited, King Paramount reforms the island of Utopia into a limited liability company under the provisions of the Companies Act. However, in the operetta, it is instead referred to as the Joint Stock Companies Act of 62, perhaps also alluding to the Joint Stock Companies Act 1844 which was referenced in their previous opera, The Gondoliers. See also Companies Act UK Company Law History of Companies Limited Liability Act 1855 Joint Stock Companies Act 1856 Companies Consolidation Act 1908 C69 Companies Act 1929 Companies Act 1948 Companies Act 1985 Companies Act 2006 equals equals notes